After leaving destruction in the Caribbean, Fiona was set on a collision course with a cold front tracking across North America. Normally, hurricanes begin to weaken as they move farther north, away from their tropical water energy source. But as these two systems merged, the cold front pulled Fiona into a warm ocean current. That meant Fiona maintained Category 4 intensity for much longer, feeding off those warm waters that also happened to be running 5 to 10 degrees warmer than normal. That gave Fiona the fuel to go much farther north than a major hurricane usually would. Then, when the waters began to cool just south of Nova Scotia, the storm morphed. It began to use the energy from the cold front instead of the warm waters to maintain its strength. That made it act like a nor'easter fueled by clash of air masses. When Fiona made landfall, it was truly a hybrid storm. Winds, rain, and storm surge of a hurricane, but the size of a long duration superstorm. But let's go back to those warm waters. Why were they still so warm this time of the year? Scientists are studying how climate change influenced Fiona, but we know most of the warming caused by carbon emissions is absorbed by the world's oceans, making them hotter and meaning more fuel for hurricanes. While that doesn't necessarily mean more storms, evidence has shown us these storms are getting stronger faster and merging with storms over land in new ways, creating new challenges for coastal communities, including in Canada. Johanna Wagstaff, CBC News, North Vancouver.